Well, here we are one more time. With Dr. Stephen Gilligan, the same Dr. Stephen Gilligan who was here a few minutes ago. But I've changed. <laughs> but I, changed. I, I swear I've changed. <laughs> and, and we just want to uh, explore a little bit about the future because this, this is the part of our, our journey, our program here, where we are looking to the future. And I know Stephen and I both turned uh, 60 this year, and I, I always had this strange sense that since all my, my models were, you know, Bates and Erickson, they were all older. I thought, you know, when I'm 60 is when I'm going to actually finally do what I'm really here for. That's when it all <laughs> begins at 60. So, Steve, actually, I'm wondering, as you, as you look ahead at your, at your future, what do, you, uh, what do you see? How do you? Well, again, one of those two-minute answers. Huh? Uh, you know, I mean, being 60 is really different from being 20. Yeah. And I think when you're younger, most of your passion should probably be appropriately into exploring your own unfolding. Mm. Yeah. And I think once you get in the second half of your life, there's more of a calling to how can you contribute it mm -hmm. to others and how can you pass it on? Yeah. You know, that, that was Erickson's, uh, you know, we never paid Erickson a, a cent. Exactly. And when exactly. I said, how, how much do I owe you? I, I, I can make arrangements, he said, the way you can repay me is that whatever you find here that be helpful to you, you can pass, pass it, it on. on. Exactly. And, exactly. and I used to think that I was living from that, but I, I feel more connected to that now. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, to me, one of the really the central vehicles is the IAGC. Yeah. That would be for the uninitiated, the International Association of Regenerative Change that Robert and I have been developing, yes. which I... I I continue, I hope, will always have sort of my own personal evolution stuff on the side. And I know for me that I need to be involved in at least three contradictory uh, uh, practices because uh, I'm such a fundamentalist. My early Catholicism, I'm such a true believer. I say, okay, I've got the cult number one from 10 to 12. And, but, but seriously, to, to just try to stay alive yeah. in, in the best sense. But I see the contribution to larger communities, not only a calling uh, for me personally, but I see it as a calling for the world. I mean, I think community is falling apart, mm -hmm. and with it, the world is being torn asunder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to me, the biggest bang for the buck, I think that the, the biggest difference that I can make is in trying to... Um, support the the initiation of, of communities that will bring generative yes. change yeah. in, in in multiple areas and you know in a lot of ways that that's that that's one of the the greatest legacies of NLP mm -hmm. you know when we heard Richard uh, I was listening to the uh, the video he was saying NLP has has entered so many different fields yeah. and it has it's it true has. it's amazing. It has. And so I see the generative change as sort of a next generation. Yes. I, I don't say that condescendingly, but it's just contexts evolve and, and things change. So I see what a different contextual way of understanding this, this stuff and how to transmit it and how to practice it. And so I see the, um, the supporting and initiation of generative communities as, as uh, the most important thing for me in the next decade. Great. I, I, here, here. Here, here. I agree. So, so when, we, when we all meet again together 40 years from now. That's no, right. <laughs> no, it's got to be much And you'll sooner. still be 39. No, no, no. I'll huh? still be 39. <laughs> I'll be 39. We'll, I'll be we'll popping be, wheelies in my wheelchair. We'll, we'll be looking back on and saying, what do we think 40 years Look at from those now? young whippersnappers. <laughs> what will have changed? I mean, yeah. so much well, I'm not a great prognosticator, you know. Uh, and, you know, if you ask me, did I have a sense 40 years ago of where this would go? I yeah. said, no way. No way, no me either. No way. Me uh, either. So it's, uh, you know, you, you, you know think that. Would you would be living in, in mainland China, married to mm. a <laughs> Chinese woman? Uh, probably no, no way. No. <laughs> but I, I remember that line in Shakespeare in Love 
where you know that they're they're trying to get the play together. They say we don't have money, we don't have the cast. It's how's it going to happen? And you know, the guy who was I think he was the Jeffrey manager. Rush, the manager. Yeah, yeah, he said Rush. I don't know, but what did he say? He it? says it's a mystery. It's, it's a, a mystery. mystery, and he got this twinkle. It's just so, like the theater. To me, creativity rests in a willingness to open to the mystery. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's really one, two, three, four. four. Exactly. So, to the mystery, then. Yeah, inspired by the to mystery. To the mystery. That's what my bumper sticker says, inspired by the mystery. Uh, that's what mine says, too. Get yeah. out! I swear to God. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, to the mystery. Bye. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Thank awesome. <laughs> Not fun. What a hoot.